Jesus, Jesus, love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus, okay, so if you want to meet the president of the universe, <laughs> really the king, because the president has limits, but a king has no limits, uh, especially the king of kings and lord of lords, Jesus Christ, our lord, God, and savior. But uh, if you want to meet the president of the universe, it's comparable to meeting the president of the United States. Right now, that's Donald Trump. So whether you like Donald Trump or not, if you want to meet the president of the United States, you have to go through a lengthy process. Uh, I don't even know how you would do that. Like, But if your eternal security and salvation depended upon being upon knowing the president, I think you'd try to figure out a way. Like you write you'd you'd write the president a letter, you know, dear Mr. Trump, I you know, I love I love your whatever that you just did, you know, blah 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 blah. Can we meet sometime for dinner? Uh, you know, and you keep writing him letters, you know, great job on this last deal, you know, what do you think about this? Can you, you know, give me some whatever you know, whatever. You would write letters to him. You would go to all of his rallies. You would, you know, talk to your congressmen about him. You would talk to your friends about Donald Trump. You would you would try everything you can just to shake his hand and maybe pass him a letter saying, I'd love to have dinner with you. And uh, and then even if you have dinner with him, like that doesn't mean that he's going to remember you or whatever. Like you have to keep. You have to like keep like like my professor at Covenant College Christian College, uh, Dr. Henry Krabbenham said, we put our application in with God. Like God is not on trial for like you know why is there evil in the world or like we're on trial because we're we are the evil in the world. We are the ones on trial. Like it's our sinful hearts. So even like I thought I was a pretty good person, pretty good Christian, but I was part of the evil in the world. So we are the ones on trial. God is the judge. God is the president, the king, the king of kings, lord of lords. So we put in our application to be saved with him. And we keep putting in our application and keep praying that God would save us. And we keep reading the New Testament, keep reading his word, keep trying to get closer and closer to him until we give our whole life to Jesus. So, you know, until he offers us the job. You know, he opens a way for us to be saved after our seek, asking, seeking, and knocking with all our heart. Then he opens a way, it says in First or Second Peter, that if you, uh, you will do well to pay attention to the sacred writings, which is the Bible, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. So eventually the president, President Trump is like, you know, there's an opening. You know, it may be a high position or a low position. You know, he's like, I got a janitor's opening. Or uh, I don't really think that would be equivalent. I think it would be more like uh, you can be one of my my advisors, unofficial or official advisors. Like so, you you get you read everything about Donald. So you read the New Testament, ask God to save you, and you seek with all your heart, and you'll find Jesus, and you give your whole life to Jesus, and then bam, Adam bomb goes off, you're saved. So if you want to meet the president of the United States, it's very hard to do, and getting saved. Contrary to contemporary Christianity, contemporary Christianity says you just say a prayer. But Jesus says, you'll find me when you seek for me with all your heart and strive to enter through the narrow gate for many will try and won't be able to. So the way is broad that leads to destruction. The way, the way is hard and narrow that leads to life. So if you really want Jesus, like you got to be all in to find him. So it's like meeting the president of the United States. Very few people have that honor of meeting him or knowing him. So you may know all about Donald Trump, but he doesn't know you. You may all know all about the president of the universe, the king of kings, Jesus Christ, Lord, Lord and Savior. But he doesn't know you. You have to you have to not give up until you know that Jesus knows you and that you know Jesus. So anyways, love Jesus loves you. Meet the president of the universe. He's way cooler than the president of the United States. He's way cooler than I am. He's way cooler than anyone is. <laughs> love Jesus loves you, Jesus.